As I mentioned earlier, I'm also Bruce Springsteen, safety manager at I'm on Fire Utilities in Singapore. Safety is in my DNA. I live and breathe it. I have a duty to care for all my workers. And this means that I have to make sure that they are safe all times. Yeah. And with a large fleet of cars, drivers going on calls, safety issues such uh, that, you know, safety issues, they tend to keep me up all night thinking about incidents that can happen or, or has happened involving my loan workers. Such as, uh, you know, issues such as falling from heights, vehicle collision, those kind of problems. But now, thanks to Solo, I'm able to be more at peace because now I kind of know where all these workers uh, uh, what they are doing, you know, the, the, the safety solution with, with solo safety solution with the uh, real time visibility. Uh, I can also look at productivity. I can also talk about looking into the personalized alerts through this use of smartphones and other variable technology. Since the solution worker safety is dramatically improved, I can now manage with check ins, have location reporting access to insights, fault detection, geofencing. I have access to insight that I've also improved productivity and safety in the company. With solo drive, I save on fuel. I have uh, reduced my insurance costs because of the uh, lower, lower accidents. Maintenance, vehicle maintenance is less because uh, my drivers are driving much more carefully now. And uh, you know, they, they, they're less aggressive with the cars and, and the other vehicles that they're driving. And of course, most importantly, the risk of accidents are reduced. With the use of mobile phones, wearables, my workers can now check in, raise alerts, notify team members, and I'm also saving on fuel insurance, as I mentioned. So let's get back to Jimmy. Jimmy, are you there? I uh, sure am, boss. Excellent. Are you all set for work today? I am. I am. Raring to go as usual. Right. Excellent. So let me just show you where Jimmy is on my my profile uh, on the on the platform. So and then maybe Jimmy can also, as soon as I, uh, oh yeah, let me just show you how how the uh, profile looks like. And Jimmy, maybe you can now in a bit show and log in you know show show our, our friends how you log in and uh, start your day sounds good sounds good okay do you want me to i'll kick that off now yeah please all right so i'll just Take share on. my here we go turn that around so i've got uh, got a second phone actually because uh, it's a lot easier to show it this way um so this is the app let me just is that coming up okay yeah yeah all good can see you now. Okay. okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to do is just start the session. There's a little bar down the bottom here. Let me kick that off. Now I'm going to um, select the, the profile I'm going to work for today, and I'm working for the company I'm on Fire, and that's something I aspire to. Um, there it is there. Let me just turn that around. Is that a bit better and easier to see? I'm on Fire. So I've got some questions I need to answer. Some some profiles you don't have questions, but in this particular one I do. The first thing that uh, my boss wants to know is uh, my work activity. When's my estimated of work finish time today? That's so the company knows that um, you know I've I've finished and got him safe. So if they don't hear from me by that time. You know some alert can be raised. So I'm going to pick. Uh, I'm on this. I can't really skive off today. So I'm going to pick 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Sorry if this is juggling around a little bit. Then I've also got some other little questions. Have you checked your vehicle? So this is a, my pre-vehicle check I must do. So I've gone, yes. I can't start my session until I've completed this. Are you ready for work today? Well, I'm never ready, but yes. Okay, so now I can go down here and start the actual session. Oh, what happened there? Start session, sorry, I pressed the, uh, the home button. So what you can see coming up now, is uh, the countdown is counting down. So I've got uh, just over 59 minutes before I have to check in. And that's just an automatic alert that's been set on this profile. It can be any amount of minutes or no minutes. I don't have to check in at all. 
Um, but in this one, in an hour's time, it's going to say to me, send me a little thing on my phone and say, hey, are you still okay? And I'm just going to tap that and it's going to go, yep, you're good. Um, also down the bottom here, it's uh, got a pause, pause button. So if I want to go to lunch, I can hit pause. The timer stops and I can go and have my lunch without, um, you know, the company having to worry about what I am and, and uh, or what I'm doing. So to resume that, I just hit the resume button. To end the session, of course, I press the end button. And then if I come to the end of my day and I want to um, do a bit more overtime, I hit the extend button, which is over here. And I, that just changes the um, finish time, which is quite important. So that's it. That's how we kick things off. So I've, I've kicked it off, boss. Um, I'm now logged in and ready to go. Thanks, Jimmy. So as the operator, what I can do now is I can actually see where everyone is. And, and uh, from there, I can actually be able to identify all my people. So yeah, now on my map, I can see some people in Australia. I can see some people in New Zealand and myself in Singapore. So for this particular uh, situation today, I will be focusing on a zone called I'm on fire, which is here. And look, I can see Pete, uh, Pete well, Jimmy for today. Uh, Jimmy here, very close to a zone that I've actually marked out. So this is a zone that uh, I was informed earlier that uh, there is a potential hazard there. There's a, a, a gas leak area that could be uh, dangerous. So I've actually just uh, highlighted this, this area up. I've zoned it up, geofenced it. And, uh, and now with this geofencing, if he does enter a zone like this, I can be prompted. Just, just remember that for myself, I normally may, I may have a team that actually monitors all my drivers and some, some, uh, all my uh, team members, or I may just be doing it remotely. Uh, remotely in the sense that, you know, I'm not actually monitoring, but when somebody goes in and out of session, I get information uh, alerted. So now we can see Jimmy, uh, Jimmy's actually entered the zone. Yes, and... boss, I can confirm I've received an alert. Excellent. Jimmy, you've just entered a dangerous zone. Just be careful. Yeah. Uh, we had, yeah, we just uh, zoned this area up just, just so that, um, you know, that, that you are made aware. And I've also just received an email uh, because I've set up an email alert if someone enters or exits a zone. So with this zone messaging, we are able to prompt the, the employee as well as the, the uh, monitoring team as well. Hey boss, um, I've just received another alert saying I've left the uh, the hazardous era, area. Yeah, ex so like excellent, man. Excellent, Jimmy. So I know, I know it's not. I know you're out of the as hazardous area, but please just be careful, right? I know how you like the speed and stuff, but you know. <laughs> right. So so now we're looking at uh, Jimmy, you know, moving around and doing his day, uh, going going around. Uh, doing his activities. Let's just hope that everything is smooth for him for the rest of the day. Right, I'm just uh, creating a mock accident. Um, so the application on my phone can pick up if I've had a, a crash, a vehicle crash, right? So at the moment it's detected a crash. It's just, just the mock one, of course. I'm quite safe and it's counting down uh, 60 seconds, and this means that I've got 60 seconds to respond to say, no, um, I'm fine, I don't need any help, um, or yes, I can hit it right now and get some help. So the reason for the countdown is like, yes, I might have had a collision, but I don't need any help, and it takes a little while to get your bearings and your phone and all that together. And um, so now I'm just going to uh, simulate that I do need help, and that's going to create an immediate uh you know alarm for here but it should also let my boss or whoever is managing the solution um uh in regards to my safety so you can see the count is going up now so i can keep a count on how long it's been since somebody's responded to me also here down in the bottom in that green pull button uh that is a predetermined number that you configure in the application um back in the office so when you set up someone's profile that if i hit that it will go to a predetermined number who will support me in time of uh, an emergency. It could be my boss or it could be like a, a help desk team or something like that within the organization. 
I've actually got my profile as well. You probably can't read that there, but it's it's a recording on the front facing camera. So for an example, I think uh, Bruce Springsteen, my boss mentioned before, if I was in a violent situation and I, and I hit, um, I know this is an accident thing, but I can also activate that camera as well to record what's going on. Um, so, you know, and that's handy for when there's audio that you need to record. I'm gonna actually, I can stop that recording there now, just like that. Okay, I'm just uh, waiting to hear from my boss now. So at my end, I can actually see I can actually see um, I can actually see uh, Jimmy uh, has actually raised an alert at 10:49. There's a bar here showing the alert, and uh, I can actually just dive into it by clicking this and call up call Jimmy up. Hey Jimmy, are you okay? I'm fine, boss. I had a bit of a bit of a bingo, a bit of a crash. Um, but I'm all a okay. There's no damage okay. to the vet. And is there any damage to you, your head? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Not even your head, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. Anyway, you know what? I think um, I think you can uh, you can just take the rest of the day off. I mean, you know, you've just been through a traumatic event, and you know, um, I, I think I think it's better you just call it a day today. Oh, just, thanks, uh, boss. Okay. That's the nicest you've ever been to me. I think it's because uh -huh. all these people are watching. Yeah, probably. But anyway, you are the best guy I have, right? And the only yeah. guy I have as well. So. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. I will head back home. Thanks a lot. All right. Mate. Thank you. Take care. Bye. So yeah. So so we we've seen what happened to Jimmy. Uh, we can see this whole, the history here, all the all the. Uh, events that has happened today in this, this session there was a vehicle collision here and you know uh, you can actually dive into the location where it happened you can have a satellite view or you can actually just have a map view so you can see okay it was somewhere around here when everything happened and uh, <clears throat> so one, one of the things that we have right now is uh, one of the features that we have is uh, as, as you mentioned earlier here, this suspend mode, this blue color thing. So when he had actually gone for his lunch, when he pressed the suspend button, uh, this number would have popped up. I would have seen his last location, uh, but I wouldn't really know uh, where he is at that particular time if he had moved around after the last known location. And uh, and actually, it's it's good that now with this kind of solution, we, Jimmy can now go home safe. He, he knows he was protected. He knows he was actually uh being looked uh looked at looked after be, being all alone in that area in that country and uh and uh, having having said that uh we are sure that now jimmy is is good to go and safe and sound <clears throat>